Happy sunshine boys and girls. We're back again. This last video I did has got some interesting comments on it for sure. Whoops. This one here from La La Land. I love that. I love that name. <laughs> uh, but from the SPLC, the, the Hate Watch. Wow, guys. This, this is... This is um, amazing stuff. So they've got this series they call the Sovereign Files and they regularly update it. It's by the Hate Watch staff. It says that right here. And this was from uh, 10 days ago. And wow, I'm just... Uh, before, before I read this, uh, Check in my notes the links down below for this video, but the John Birch Society exposes the Southern Pov Poverty Law Center. And, you know, I've only watched three, almost four minutes of it, and I'm definitely going to watch the rest of this one. It's, it's, it's potent. He is, he is dissecting the propaganda for you, and... In that, in that vein, wow, I just see nothing but propaganda on this page. Like here, they give you a definition. They're throwing this term out, sovereign. And they, the first thing they're going to do is define it for you. They're going to assign a meaning and they're going to tell you what they mean by it. Sovereign citizens are a diverse group of individuals whose activities and motives vary, but whose core tenets are typically the same. They view United States citizenship, established government, authority, and institutions as illegitimate and consider themselves immune from and therefore above the law. A number of sovereign citizens engage in fraudulent activity using paper terrorism to achieve their agendas and commit crimes under the mistaken hope or belief that laws do not apply to them. <clears throat> Some plan or take part in protests against government agencies and institutions, like the ones organized by the Bundys in Bunkersville, Nevada, and the Malheur Wildlife Refuge in Harney County, Oregon. Some have resorted to violence, including acts of domestic terrorism, when they felt their freedoms were infringed upon. And so now they're going to go through the different areas and talk about uh, the, the top domestic terrorists who are sovereign citizens. And look at this. Wow. Heather Ann Tucci Giraffe. Holy cow. They are spinning the propaganda thick, guys. Listen to this. Well-known sovereign citizen Heather Ann Tucci Giraffe, formerly of the One People's Public Trust, formerly, hmm, I, I don't, I don't know why it says formerly there, uh, was a fugitive from the law. What? What? She was, she was in court the week before. Didn't she make an appearance in court the week before uh, she, she was arrested? How, not a fugitive. She was a fugitive from the law when she and two companions walked up to the southwest gate of the White House to, quote, uh, see if she was in the WH system for a meeting yet, end quote. Tucci Giraffe claimed she was referred by colleagues who she attempted to put on the phone with Secret Service. The Secret Service's response was to question her and her companions temporarily cuffing one and then letting them go. Oh, wow. Remember everything that I've said about how to handle warrants? The Secret Service's response was to question her and her companions, temporarily cuffing one and then letting them go. The Secret Service had personal contact with her. There was a warrant in the system. Actually, it's that one. And they didn't lock her up. They were 
commanded without a, to, to arrest her, bring her before a judge without unnecessary delay. So, I don't know. I don't know where the Southern Poverty Law Center is getting this information from, but... Uh, but wow, I have not, I haven't heard this at all uh, from, from anybody. If you can find this information coming from Heather's camp or where that might be out on the web, that would be very interesting. The next morning, agents tracked them down at Trump International Hotel where Tucci Giraffe told them she was staying and arrested her on a warrant out of Knoxville, Tennessee, where a grand jury had charged her with conspiracy to commit money laundering on July 17th. Wow. Uh, I believe the, it's dated on the 18th, so the date's wrong. They got the date wrong. Tucci Giraffe is alleged to have conspired with Randall Randy Keith Bean to steal approximately $2 million from the Federal Reserve by purchasing certificates of deposits, or CDs, with a fake bank account, then liquidating the CDs and sending the money to his personal account. Tucci Giraffe is accused of pretending to be an attorney in order to persuade financial institutions to letting them buy a 2017 motorhome with the ill-gotten gains. Uh, you know, I haven't actually checked her education, but I, I remember that she's gone to law school that she was bar accredited for a while and uh, that she is not bar accredited now. And I think that was by her own choice. Uh, I think she let it lapse. Uh, that's my understanding, but, but I don't have the supporting underlying observations uh, to support that. Uh, so if you guys know differently, please, please let me know. She is currently incarcerated in jail in Washington, D.C., where she recently had an identity hearing because she refused to identify her quote, unquote, corporate self to law enforcement. Tucci Giraffe filed a document with her numerous uniform commercial codes with the court and fired her lawyer. She currently plans to continue her quest through the legal system pro se, which she will do from Tennessee, where she is likely to be extradited. Tucci Giraffe has dozens of followers, many of whom think they can use her recommendations to access accounts filled with money. She is assuring them through social media and jail that this will happen. Many have responded ecstatically. Others fear that she will remain in prison and are advocating for a, a possibly violent citizen's arrest of the judge. Are you kidding me? What a load of bullshit this is, guys. Wow, I have not heard anybody advocating for a possibly violent citizen's arrest of the judge. What this is, this is some of, this is some of the, what, the sharpest propaganda and smearing that, I, that I've ever seen. They include a, a little blurb that Heather had wrote it and her, and her picture, and then they go right on to Indianapolis. But she tops the list, guys. Wow. This gets stranger and stranger. They had one of them in cuffs. You know, I... One of the ideas that I, I had that might explain this, this is only speculation. We'd have, to, we'd have to ask the Secret Service, but if they had him stopped and they're trying to verify that the warrant's valid and for whatever reason they can't seem to do so, uh, that might be a reason to call the originating agency and say, hey, you know, I can't quite verify this warrant's valid through normal channels, and I'm just letting you know. And and so then they let them go. And, uh, you know, they gave them the pertinent information, like the, the hotel room at Trump International Hotel here. And then it's the next day that 
uh, Parker Steele's uh, cohorts in Washington, D.C. end up arresting Heather Ann Tucci Giraffe. This is strange, guys. Uh, like, they, they got the date wrong here. I'm, I'm just about positive that the, uh, the indictment, the grand jury, was on the 17th. So, uh, I, I don't see, or sorry, the 18th. I don't see how they have the 17th written here. Um, but, but wow. So be mindful and be on the lookout for, for other sources. This is, this is a big move by the system here. And, and you can go check out this video and, and I'm going to watch the rest of it. Like I say, four minutes into it and, and, uh, and it seems pretty good. I've, I've been aware that the SPLC has been part of the system. It's, you know, it's a name that's out there thrown around like uh, with uh, the Council on Foreign Relations and the Bilderberg and, and you know, it's just, uh, it's wrapped up right in all of that stuff, guys. All right, well, excellent, excellent uh, unity and ideas and flow and communication coming from this family here. Uh, eventually we're going to get to the bottom of it and, and figure out what our truth is for ourselves, or we're just going to have a whole bunch of questions that we still need answered. Um, and, and we hope that if we wind up in that situation, it's because Heather Ann Tucci Giraffe has been released and, uh, and, and I'd rather have it be that way and scratching my head than, uh, whew than anything else right now. All right, I love you guys lots. Lunacy at protonmail.com. L-U-N-A-S-E-E. -E. Peace out.